Welcome to Electron Line. Sometimes we may want to express a line in space with a vector. The way to do that is as follows. Let's say we have a line in space and we know at least one point on the line. The point is 3, 1, 6. And we know that the line is parallel to some known vector here, the vector 2, 5, and 1. How do you write then an equation in the form of a vector to describe that particular line? Well, since we know that the line passes through that point and is parallel to the vector, as indicated there, we can then say that the vector from the point that we know to some other arbitrary point on the line called x, y, z, the vector a can be written as follows. a, which we now know is going to be parallel to the vector v, can be written as some constant, some parameter, times the vector v, which means that a can now be written as t times the vector 2i plus 5j plus 1k, which means that the vector a can be written as 2t in the i direction plus 5t in the j direction plus 1t in the k direction. Again, remember that t is simply a constant. It can be bigger than 1, equal to 1, smaller than 1. If it's bigger than 1, that means that the distance from this point to this point is larger than the magnitude of v. If t is smaller than 1, then the distance from this point, the known point, to the arbitrary point is smaller than the length of vector v. Now we also can say that the vector pointing to the unknown point x, y, z, the r vector or the position vector, is equal to the sum of the distance to the known point, r sub naught vector, plus the a vector distance from the known point to the arbitrary point on the line. We can write it like this. And since r sub naught is a known vector because we know the position of that point, we can then say that the r vector is equal to 3i plus 1j plus 6k. And then we add that to the a vector, which we can define like this with the parameter t relative to vector v. We can write this as 2t in the i direction plus 5t in the j direction plus 1t in the k direction. If we now add those two vectors together, then we can say that the r vector, the vector that points to an arbitrary point on the line, any point on the line x, y, z, can now be written as 3 plus 2t in the i direction plus 1 plus 5t in the j direction plus 6 plus 1t in the k direction. And this then would be how we express that line in space using a vector notation and using the parameter t, which relates the direction of the line to the direction of the known vector, knowing that the line is parallel to the vector. And of course, you have to know at least one point on the line. And that's how we find the expression in terms of vector format for line in space.